friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another 30 minute meal. Tonight we are going a little bit of Thai flair and we're gonna be making some shrimp pad Thai. It is so low in smart points, a great alternative to what you find in a restaurant because that pad Thai, my friends, that pad Thai is high, high in points. This pad Thai is not and it is absolutely delicious. And the best part is it is from counter to table in 30 minutes or less. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you, all you have to do is stay tuned. So for today's 30 minute meal, we are going to be making pad thai. Now you could use chicken, steak, shrimp, whatever you prefer. We're gonna go with shrimp, it just sounded really good. So let me show you what is in our pad Thai. So first you're going to need some noodles. Now you can use whatever noodles you prefer, but I'm going to be using the fiber gourmet light spaghetti. I love this pasta. It is better than regular pasta in my opinion. And you can have two ounces that is uncooked. So dry for only three smart points. You can't beat it when traditional pasta is five to six smart points for two ounces. So I love fiber gourmet. I think the taste and texture is better than regular pasta. And of course you can't beat the decrease in points. So I'm gonna be using the light spaghetti. You can see here it has 19 grams of fiber and eight grams of protein. So it definitely keeps you full. You can order fiber gourmet off of Nettrition's website. So down in the description box is a link. Click it, head on over, look at all of the amazing WW products definitely order the fiber gourmet pasta. And if you want some other suggestions of things to order from Nutrition, leave me a comment down in the comment section and I'll definitely shoot some suggestions your way. Definitely recommend fiber gourmet. So I'm gonna be doing that. You'll also need some oil. So I'm gonna do the Chosen Foods avocado oil, roasted peanuts. And again, I'm going with shrimp. I love this shrimp. This Argentine shrimp from Kroger is outstanding. So we're gonna be doing that. Also some minced garlic, some eggs, green onion, cilantro. You can do fresh or herb. I'm gonna do the herb because my husband doesn't like it. So I'm just gonna put it on mine. You'll also need a bell pepper and two fresh limes. So let's get started on our pad thai. So the first thing we need to do is start our veggies. So I'm gonna go ahead, dice up my green onions, my pepper, cut my limes into wedges. We'll set all of this aside and then we'll get started on the sauce for our pad thai. Next, we're gonna get our pasta cooking. So I have my water at a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my light spaghetti. We're gonna allow this to cook down until it is al dente, and then we're going to remove it and run it under some cold water to keep it from sticking together. And I did salt my water as well. So we're gonna put together our sauce. So for our sauce, we're gonna need five tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to be using the Sucran Gold. I did purchase this brown sugar off of Nutrition, which is the same place that I order the pasta. So if you're looking for another fantastic WW friendly item to add to your cart, this is definitely one of those items. It is zero calories, so it is zero smart points, and it looks and tastes like the real Thing. So highly recommend the Sucrim products. They also have a powdered sugar and a granular sugar. So I went ahead and added five tablespoons of that. We're also going to add two tablespoons of PB2. And this is in place of the peanut butter that the recipe calls for. Once we add our liquids, it'll help mix that PB2 in really well. I am omitting the fish sauce and the sriracha because we don't like things spicy. So you can certainly add those to yours. And then we are going to do one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using a coconut aminos instead of soy sauce, which is pretty similar to regular soy sauce. This is what it looks like. Mine is from Trader Joe's. And then lastly, we have some rice vinegar and we want two tablespoons of that. I scored on the rice vinegar. Mine is actually sugar-free. So I was really excited to find this. 
zero calories, zero points. So that is everything that is in our sauce. So we're just going to mix it together and get everything nice and combined. And we'll go ahead and set this aside because we're about to cook down those veggies and the shrimp. But look at this. It smells peanut buttery. Ah, uh, yum. To my pan, I've added one tablespoon of my avocado oil, heated that up. I'm going to add a big heaping scoop of my minced garlic. And then I'm also going to add in all of my shrimp. And we're gonna let this cook down. And then we'll add in our peppers and finish sauteing the rest of our pad thai. As your shrimp start cooking down or whatever meat you're doing, go ahead and add in your bell pepper. And I'm adding in my green onion. The original recipe wants you to top the dish with the raw green onions, but my husband isn't the biggest fan, so I'm just gonna cook them in with the rest of my shrimp. Once your shrimp is just about done cooking, go ahead and slide it over to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and add in our two eggs. And we're just gonna scramble those in with our shrimp and pepper mixture. And then lastly, we'll add in our noodles and our peanuts and sauce, and our pad thai is done. And it's only been about 10 minutes. After you've scrambled your egg, go ahead and add in your pasta. And then I have one half of a cup of my roasted peanuts. And then lastly, I'm going to add in my delicious sauce. And we're gonna stir this all together and our dinner will be done. So let me get this mixed together and I'll be back to show you what it looks like here in the pan. So here is our pad thai. Look at this, you guys, yum. So you can either divide this into four servings or six servings, depending on how many points that you'd like to use. We're gonna do ours into four servings. So let me get this plated up and add my cilantro and a couple of wedges of lime, and I'll be back to show you our completed dinner and to give you the smart points. So here is my dinner. Look at how amazing this looks. So this is one fourth of the pad thai. I just sprinkled a little cilantro, a couple of lime wedges. We'll just squeeze those over the top of the pad thai before we eat it. One fourth is seven smart points. If you break the recipe into six servings, it's five smart points. You don't need anything else. Everything you need is here on this plate. So thank you for joining me on another WW 30 minute meal. This pad thai was out standing so good and a huge portion for the smart points if you like thai food you know it can be really high in points so this is a fantastic alternative to that definitely check it out definitely go over to nutrition and order the fiber gourmet pasta that way you'll save a lot of points on this dish it really ups the points with a traditional pasta there is a link right in the recipe to get to nutrition head on over check it out there's lots of good stuff to order off of that website in addition to the fiber gourmet pasta. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming by. I'd love it if you would take a moment and just hit that subscribe button and that little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. You don't wanna miss out. Make sure you're thumbs up this one. Comment down below. Let me know, are you gonna give this recipe a try? I really think you should because it was absolutely delicious. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.